Hello, welcome back to Medis in Depth, part of Levant TV's Press View. Today, we will continue assessing articles in the media on Iraq. Michael Eisenstadt, senior fellow and director of the Military and Security Studies program at the Washington Institute, writes a piece titled How to Manage the Mess in Iraq, warning that the U.S. must be careful not to overreact. Eisenstadt says it will not be easy for the Iraqi security forces to reclaim many of the areas that were lost to ISIS. For the forces to succeed, he says, they will need to find allies among the Sunnis in a repeat of the tribal uprising that helped defeat Al-Qaeda in Iraq in 2006 and 2007. But having been used and abandoned once before, the tribes won't come around so easily this time. In the above precondition, Eisenstadt assumes the takeover would be an internal matter in Iraq. But now that the Iraqi government has officially asked the US for military help over ISIS, the matter is less reliant on internal factors within the Iraqi military fabric. The writer concludes by advising the US to do no harm and not to overreact. There is a good chance that the Iraqi security forces and their militia auxiliaries will be able to keep the ISIS at bay on their own. The US should be quietly providing intelligence and advice to the security forces. From Beirut, Aaron Baker writes for Time magazine a piece titled Is al-Maliki the man to save Iraq? Embattled Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki holds the key to a solution in Iraq, but is he willing to use it? Baker says it's not often that the White House and Tehran are on the same page, but in this occasion when it comes to Iraq, US President Barack Obama and Iranian President Hassan Rouhani are practically on the same paragraph. So far, al-Maliki, a Shiite, has resisted reaching out to his political opponents, focusing instead on directing a military response and recruiting young Shiites for sectarian defense militias. It is unclear why exactly al-Maliki has been so slow to reach out to minorities, particularly if his two uh, greatest backers, the US and Iran, are insisting that he make amends. In Baker's analysis, the emphasis is that it's all in the hands of Maliki. But the question should be, why is Maliki not giving in to power sharing? Is, in a, is he in a mindset of everything or nothing? Sami Ketz writes in the Daily Star, he says all the experts agree that the current crisis in, is in Iraq is rooted in 2003 invasion. Ruba Hussari, a top expert on the Iraqi oil sector, argues the political, economic and energy future depends on the ability of the different constituents of the Iraqi polity to pull together the country before the ship sinks completely. Sami Ketz concludes Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki failed to act as a national political leader and has relied instead on sectarianism, marginalizing the Sunni elites who have found themselves with their backs against the wall. But while it could be true that Maliki did not reach out to all minorities in the Iraqi polity, it is important to look at Maliki's policy of excluding his Sunni counterparts in its, geo in, in its geopolitical context, especially with the growth of radicalized Sunni factions. That was it for today. For more updates, please visit Levant.tv. Thanks for watching Medicine Depth and bye for now.